Hey, what up, family? It's your boy, Dr. G, and welcome to another Dr. G show. Listen, you know, one of the things I like to tell myself is that no one can break me but me. So I want you to say that to yourself. No one can break me but me. You know, they used to say sticks and cones can break my bones, but words can do me no harm. So I, this is my one. I want you to say it again. No one can break me but me. Um, this is your motivational moment right here on Dr. G's show. I want you guys to tap into this. You know, sometimes I go through things and I see people aspiring to loads of things. Some of us have been through so much. We've Some of us have been abuse in relationships. Some of us have been from a little child. Some of us have been um, to a family where there's not much food on the table. Some of us have children out of wedlock and they the father's not even represented. Some of us are coming to have to find food from day to day to provide for our children. Some of us come from single homes and and broken homes. Some are coming from um, father fatherless uh, homes where fathers are in prison. Some of us are coming from homes where um, you know there was it was difficult. To see a mother and a father arguing all the time, and uh, you know they've seen it. Some of us are coming from so much hurt and pain, but I always say, and I want you guys to say this one more time: No one can break me but me. You know, I have to tell you this, and I want you guys to stay with me with this. If I look, but if you look back at your past, every one of us. We look back at our past and we have made mistakes. We have said things wrong. We have done something to offend somebody. We have come, we've actually been good people, but we've had mistakes and done things in our lives that we regret, some of us. But one of the things is we have to feed our minds on positive thoughts. You know, no matter how difficult this journey of life becomes, people will always be there to say something negative to us. So people will be, always be there to tell us something that make, make us feel as though as much as we're trying to do good, it's not enough. But I always say, let them speak. You know, let them speak. They gotta say what they gotta say, but that can't stop us from being who we really are. And no matter how small or big your dream is to somebody else, that dream is your dream. And you gotta go after it. I want to say this to you, I, I've got this thing that I talk about love because I believe love is the number one healer of this world. Love is the most powerful thing and the powerful gift that is left on this planet earth. And this is if we share love from each other, if we show people how to love and understanding, you know, love start with us, you know, love start with me and not just saying, waiting for somebody else to love us. We know that we can feed ourselves with good thoughts and good things and that's why we can end up where we want to be. It is important. It is important. I can't exaggerate this to you ladies. It is important no matter what you've been through that you take your words. You you memorize the words you want to hear in your ears. I am confident. I am beautiful. I am I am wonderful. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I am a strong person. I can do anything I put my mind to, no matter what I've been through. You know, people uh, uh, talk about being successful. People talk about how um, um, I can see. I, I will. I, I look at Richard Branson, uh, but look at uh, he's one of my. I've mentioned him before. How he started from nothing and made something, but he had to have a dream and he had to start with one step and somebody, somebody opening up a door for them, for him and and letting him become more than where he is today where he is today but i would say this to you success is not just measured by what you have but who you are and i want i i did this is i look around and people say what do you have to show your success i haven't got a phd i haven't got a ba i haven't got a degree but what have i got to show it I have a clean heart and clean mind. And that's one of the things that some people can't even, um, they don't, they don't, they're not even worth themselves. 
they don't know what is important to themselves because it's not just what you have. You might be driving the Bentley or the Cadillac or maybe the BMW, but your heart is not clean, your mind is not clean, and you be broken, and you're 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 walking working up from day to you can't even sleep at night. Because you've acquired all this success in man's eyes, but in yourself, you're not even successfully happy with who you are. So the important thing is not just being successful because of what you have or what you are working towards, but with who you are as a person. You can get up every day and look yourself in the mirror and say, I only got one slice bread on the fridge or I've got um, just about 20 pounds in the bank, but I'm content with who I am. I'm not waking up every day looking over my shoulder and people are looking at me and thinking, oh, I have not, I am not happy with who I am. So you, the most of the most important thing is to know that you are a lovable person, you're a kind person, you're an affectionate person, you look out for the less fortunate, you, sh you take time out to appreciate the air that you breathe and appreciate life and the simple things about life. So, you know, don't matter what people might say about you because you don't have this, as long as you carry yourself clean, you know, somebody said to me, you know, I only got like four pairs of shoes in my clothes. Four pairs, I got one for church, one to wear out, and you know, I don't go out buying shoes day after day, day after day, or month after month, and or buy clothes month after month, and week after week. What's that to acquire? You know, we, we, the more you work towards the things of this earth, is the more you realize you become more stressful. You know, one of the songs I said, um, Puff Daddy, I think, and uh, Mace, he says um, uh, about more money, more problems. Problems, the world creates problems, that w but they never give the solutions. But you don't realize that seeking after certain things just brings more problems your way. The important thing is to be contented with who you are as a person. Be happy with yourself and show love and to everyone. No matter how difficult it is. So don't let no one break you with their words. No one tell you that you are not successful. No one try to tell you that you haven't acquired this. You haven't acquired uh, an education or you haven't got a good job. If you are cleaner on the road, as I said, if you are cleaner on the road, be the best cleaner you can be. That's the important thing. No matter what you are, no matter who you are, no matter what you become, be if you got a clean heart and a clean mind, build yourself up every day. Every morning you get up, give God thanks for life. You know, as they say, scripture says, create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. You just tune into another Dr. G show. It's your boy Dr. G. I'm out.